I am Adil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to represent complex numbers on this paper right that means paper is a plane so we are talking about representing numbers on a sheet of paper or on a plane so let me write down in the word plane which is very familiar with most of the senior students right so we will try to figure out how to represent complex numbers on this paper now what is a complex numbers any number of the form a plus b i right so we we'll write z equals to a plus b i that is kind of a complex number where a and b are real right and this i is the complex part which makes the second term as the complex term now the question here is how to represent complex numbers on this paper that means on a plane so that's all we'll discuss and we'll take a few examples to begin with normally we write variables like z is the most favored variable to write for any complex number let me give some value to a and b so i'll write 2 plus 3i for example right you could also use symbols like u v w right so you could write any letter but lower case is preferred okay so we could have a let's say let's take one with negative so 1 minus 2i okay and uh, let's take a real number and an imaginary part so say v okay there is no need to write this on the top i just wrote it uh, only the letter could have worked okay in fact i should not write this on the top so when we represent them as a vector we write that on the top so it's kind of a habit okay anyway so for the time being if you want you can ignore it okay so uh, let's write a real number this time. Uh, let's say the number is uh, okay Just two. okay U V W could be written. I'm not writing that part, but since I've written earlier Let me make it kind of similar. Okay, so this time I'll write uh, imaginary part and uh, Let's say the imaginary part for us is uh, uh, Minus 3 I okay So we'll try to represent these numbers on this plane how to do it that's the question so you know uh, if i draw a horizontal line then this horizontal line represents real numbers right so that represents a real number that's not a problem but to represent complex number what we do is we replace our normal y-axis with the with imaginary numbers and instead of writing y i will write i or i write i for imaginary so so here we have a coordinate plane so we take the real numbers along the positive x-axis and the imaginary along the standard y-axis that helps to show or represent complex number right? so we're talking about complex number. let me write c here for complex numbers okay so i hope that makes some very clear that this is not the normal grid right it's not normal x and y it is a grid of course which has real numbers along the x-axis and complex numbers along the y-axis let's begin one by one representing them so the first number z 2 plus 3i okay 2 plus 3i so that means 2 is the real part so we'll do 1 2 3 4 5 so let me make some scale here 1 2 3 4 5 and let's say 1 2 3 4 let's say minus one minus two minus three minus oh okay, that's fine so the first one here for us is uh, is two plus three i two is the real part so you go two units here and three means imaginary so go three up so two and then go one two three so that position represents z so if i connect this right so if i connect this let me use a different ink now and highlighter may be a good idea so that part here represents z so that is the vector z for us i should say the complex number so let me write like this representing this as a vector okay so z very special symbol for us now represents this 2 plus 3i where on the real axis we have 2 and on the complex axis we have the number 3 and their combination like a coordinate plane right you could think like this also right two comma three now we could write like this because the imaginary is along the y-axis so there is this is also the right way 
kind of a coordinate for the point in the complex plane so this plane now will be called as our complex plane right so so entire plane is now representing complex numbers correct let's do this next one which is u 1 minus 2i so this time 1 1 is positive right side minus 2i so go down so that is minus 2 okay so this number represents 1 minus 2i I could show this with the help of that line right so from origin we have this line representing the second vector I'm again saying vector but you say complex number u so this represents u for us okay this is u for us in coordinates you could write this as uh, 1 minus 2 also right so that works now v is 2 so it's just two units to the right okay so I could show v by this line so this line here on this plane represents v for me let me write v here up to here how about minus 3w minus 3w really means that you have to go downwards correct so let's go downwards and represent uh, minus 3w so 1 2 3 that's minus 3 right so minus 3i for w so which is this much right so this vector i should say or this line represents uh, w whose coordinate is minus 3 so i'm not writing i because the y-axis represents imaginary numbers the imaginary part of the complex number you get an idea so the whole idea here is that a complex number is made up of two right so let me recall recall what we did so let's say a complex number is z is equals to a plus b i in that case a is the real part right so it is real and so it is represented along the horizontal axis so it is along the horizontal axis okay and as far as b is concerned as far as b is concerned b is the imaginary part right and it is represented along the vertical axis right so vertical axis we are writing i do you see and our horizontal axis we are representing with the word r which means set of real numbers and this is a set of imaginary numbers okay so that is how we can represent a complex number on a plane and as i say paper is a plane so that is how we can represent a complex number on this paper i'm anil kumar and i hope that helps thank you and all the best